Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rogue Trader. Hope you're excited. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually had a crack at this game. Uh, what was it? The last time I did a YouTube thing on this was in the open beta. Was it open or closed beta? Some sort of beta a while ago. Um, I'm not going to do the prologue. I've kind of skipped over the prologue because since I've already done that, if you want to know what the prologue is, um, I'll leave a link in the description below to the video I did previously to catch up on the story. But the story isn't that crazy, isn't, isn't too out of the way. In fact, I'll explain the story now. Just as a quick summary, so if you don't want to have spoilers, go watch that now. I'm going to explain it now. Right, so essentially, I mean, we're on a ship, aren't we? And there's a woman who's like, ooh, you might be a rogue trader in the future if you follow my lead. And then chaos happens. It's Zinch. It's always Zinch. So there's, a, there's a traitor on board. And we crump him good and proper. And then we become rogue trader because she dies under mysterious circumstances. And that's essentially it. The ship's now knackered. We now need to fix it up. And that is it. Well, let's have a look, quick look at the character. I made John Temple. So if you're familiar with the um, Baldur's Gate series, you'll know exactly the kind of character John Temple is. And uh, we're an officer. Essentially, our, our idea is just telling other people to do our fighting for us. Our origins are from an imperial world. We are humanity's finest, of course we are. We're noble. And that is really that is really it. There's, there's not, not too many crazy things on the go for us. Uh, we are... I, I don't really know how to explain... All the stuff in this. But at the moment, we're a bit dogmatic because all the choices that I made in the prologue previous in the video that I did made the exact same choices just for obvious reasons because uh, they were the correct choices. So on a ship, there's things to do. Now, there's an angry sister of battle that we made friends with. Again, so we're going to talk to her because she's got some stuff for us to do. Rogue trader. Ooh, do, oh, it's the voice acting in this. Amazing. That's so useful. Um, you said you had a personal request for me. I indeed have a request, Rogue Trader. Oh, so useful because I'm terrible at reading. Oh, no, you want to read the small bits. Damn it, fine. The accursed servants of chaos who assaulted this ship took the lives of your loyal crew members, and they orphaned many children, including the progeny of the brave officers who defended their purse until the bitter end. I don't know what customary practices there are for cases like this in Von Valkanis' territory, but in the world I'm familiar with, the children of such brave souls could expect to receive some special consideration. Perhaps a rogue trader could meet with the orphans. I will happily meet with the orphans. Yeah, um, but what, what shall we do? Let's, uh... Yeah, make arrangements with the... Uh, for them, uh, worthy of a rogue trader. I will address the orphans with a speech. Yes. As you wish, rogue trader, thank you for your grant... Uh, thank you for granting my request and dialogue. Yes, we shall address the children. John Temple... People of, uh, sorry, a, a hero of the people. I'm so excited to play John Temple in space. This is this is so good. Comes close to my heart. There's all the orphans. Yes, clap, clap for me, you dogs. A group of adolescents, clearly dressed in their finest, freshly pressed clothes, form a straight line in front of you. Some stare at you with wide eyes, like you're some mythical creature, while others huddle together in fear and look away. Oh, in fact, in our Indefatigable sister has been key keeping an eye on these pups. It's hardly the skull of progenium in here, but we have provided the orphans on our ship with adequate care and instruction. Uh, brave ones, the master of the ship has appeared before you, the one who guides it through the darkness of the universe by the Emperor's will. Greet your Lord Captain, the rogue trader of House Von Valankius. Alright, so do we play it cool? Are we cool and hit with the kids? Or are we going to be stern and... Oh, we are emperor people. Um, I think John Temple is going to be quite chill, isn't he? The Lord Captain greets you, brave ones. Teenagers keep staring at you. A girl who's remained close to the Ar Argenta smiles uncertainly. A skinny pale lad tries to throw his shoulders back and stand at attention like a soldier. Only a few teenagers at the far end of the row seem sullen and not particularly impressed. Uh, so what? Why should we care? Our friends and parents died in their dozens for you, lo noble lot. And you just give us speeches. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, so we've got to plant some authority in here. Hmm. Punish the troublemaker. The rest must... <laughs> uh. If you have things to say, you say them without fear. I will listen. Doesn't matter what we say. It won't bring our parents back. And it won't change our fates either. We'll keep slaving away on the ship until we drop like and die like our folks, or worse. Hmm. We've got to be. We've got to be strong here. 
I think. Yeah, let, let's be understandable. I understand your grief and dismay. Your parents died, and it's not an easy thing to go through. But they gave their lives for the truth, for the good of the whole ship, for the Imperium. They don't speak of their honourable fate with such anger and disdain. You heard the rogue trader. His words carry the wisdom of the Imperium. It's hard to say whether or not your words left any impression on the boy, but he nods slowly and catches himself and gives you an awkward bow. Al 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 Ablard gives a sign and, serves and servants immediately emerge, carrying package treats with Von Volankius emblazoned on the wrappers. It appears that the... S s God, these fucking words! Yeah, I came prepared for any contingency. Yep, give the treat. Give the kids some sweets. <laughs> it's just throwing some random shit at them. Yeah, sweet treats. We'll get them. Agentia rubs her temples pensively. She smiles and offers a few more words of encouragement, then leaves the bear. Yep. I think the kids like us. I think we've made a good impression. We could have served them, you know, some imperial justice by throwing them off the edge. Giving them the airlock of good stuff, but no. We're good. John Temple. Rogue trader. He's a good lad, really. No dead kids on our watch. No more death. This is going to be a peaceful, peaceful time in the Imperium. We're just trading anyway, aren't we? We're just rogue traders. Going around, doing a bit of shopping. It's all totally fine. But what's our, what's our, our next thing? We're meant to be doing stuff. Um, I do believe... In fact, actually, we could probably check our journal. We're looking for trouble. Alright, we're going to visit loads of different places. So I think... So we're going to visit a prison planetary to meet some people. I'll be honest, I try to follow the um, story. Um, all, the, all the little... Uh, the big bits, like, oh, we're being traitors and stuff, you know. I can understand that. There's lots of little things as well, which I don't quite follow because I'm not a smart man. That's okay, we'll just go to places. So, Rykid Filiate, the prison planetoid in the record system, may have caught the interrogator's attention. Oh, there's an interrogator that we're meant to find or something. Well, 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 doesn't matter. Does story matter in this? Absolutely not. Just gonna go around and see what's going on. And I'm sure they'll explain it to us later on. The events of 40k universe, uh, take plus across expanse. Uh, what you see before you is a map of one such system. Each star system contains objects that you can interact with. Such objects are marked in place of points of interest. Move your ship to points of interest, left click to initiate the event or open the planet view. Okay, so we wanted to go to... Shit, what, what was the place we wanted to go to? Was this... Is this the prison planet? It was one of them. <laughs> oh dear. I've already forgotten what we were doing. Can I bring up my journal again? I can. Nice one. Uh, chapter 1, Looking for Trouble. Ricardia Filia, which is on neither of these. What was the one taking us to Nervac? Uh, okay, we'll, 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 we'll go there. I like, the, I like the, the cut of that jib. A Lord Captain reporting the heralds of the Nervous Nobilite continue to maintain Vox Silence, perhaps due to the Iraq 5 being off limits to visitors. We, incept we intercepted signals from the beacons drifting into the sa station's orbit. The demands are clear. We are, to t we are told to turn the ship around immediately. We've also detected a accumu accumulation of space debris near the station's docks. Presumably it is the remains of interstellar shuttles. Perhaps the esteemed Navis Noblite House requires aid, therefore cannot respond to our Vox transmissions. Alright then, uh, contact the station again. I will negotiate personally. I'm sorry, Lord Captain. The station does not reply even after an official greeting by a road trader. A declaration of your intent to negotiate in person. All right, um... All of the Orga crew to scan the station. Let's see what goes involved. Yes, Lord Captain. The officers from the Orga crew form a full scan of the station. The information is imprecise. They note wave distortions of unclean genesis. Of unclear genesis, sorry. Uh, that are throwing off most of our readings. Uh, we are able to maintain... Or I'll be able to ascertain that the core reactor of the station is still active, but many compartments are underpowered and some fully depressurized. The signs of biological activity are largely present in the central module, which means the station has not been abandoned. So the question remains, why are the esteemed navigators heralding a heralds ignoring us? Ah, uh, let's 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 dock. 
Affirmative, Lord Captain. We do not know what is happening at the station, so you'll have to look for the esteemed navigator's blind. Dock safely, and may the God Emperor light your path. Absolutely. Send us to place. Uh, it's not responding, and it's a journal. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. That's fine. We're going to go to go there. The question is, what do we just... Are we there? Begin the scan. Are we doing it right? I don't know. Iraq 5, let us go in. And so we've got us, John Temple. I w couldn't find a better photo, sadly. Albard, who's like a tank kind of person. Idra, who is a zappy, warp, magician kind of person. No, Genta, angry sister of battle. That's what we like. That is a happy time for all of us, I do believe. So get us on, Iraq 5. Or Urak 5, however one pronounces that. We are here to talk to these people for reasons. I assume we need a new navigator. Oh dear. Things are broken. Pathetic worm. You dare to argue with your master? What the hats? It was not you whom I swore to serve within these walls. My lips are sealed. Confess. What was the old man's last command? What are you planning? Give up, Keeper. You have lost this battle. Again. <sighs> We're getting nowhere with these ones, sir. Permission to execute them. Well, hecky flip. Wretches, you will be consigned to oblivion for your transgressions against House or Ar Arcelia. Immortal Emperor, deliver your servants from peril. Prayers will not help you. Servant of the damned. Ooh, potential heresy. Is it more heresy? In the name of House Arcelia, I command you to execute these infidels. Well, yep, you're dead. Oh, <laughs> delayed reactions to death, but dead all the same. Oh, we're here. Not a step further. Master, we have some strange guests on the station. Hmm, slow turn. Uh, step back or I will leash all the, all the horrors of the Sea of Souls upon you. Emperor, be my witness. Answering High Gothic, I am Erg Trader John Temple von Val Van Valankius. I am no enemy of Navis Noblite. This system has been under the protection of the Winterscale dynasty for many years. Admittedly, I did not expect to meet another rogue trader in my lifetime. And since fate has brought such an important person into my abode, let me introduce myself. Before you stands Felic Christoph August, Keeper of the Station. So you did not come to offer support to these traitors. This is great news. Having said that, you must understand that Urk 5 is a holy sanctum for House Orcelia. The path to it is is only revealed to a select few. It pains me to say that you are not on the guest list. Hmm. Well. Well, we came here for Navigator. I came here in search for Navigator. So you're... Oh, I... <laughs> Come with me now. Uh... Hmm. What's happening on the station? Where do all these corpses come from? Betrayal. A most banal thing in the life of a Noblite. Don't you think? I was stabbed in the back by my closest friend, Fearbald Orcelia second keeper of Urak 5 and my mentor. On his instructions, my own people sabotaged generators, blew up the shuttles, and brutally massacred the, lo the loyal servants of my mistress. Most unfortunately, they dared to take her prisoner. Greedy scum, I swear by the front's light, their souls will perish in the darkness of the void. The madmen have captured Lady Cassia and are now torturing her upstairs while we are idly chat chatting down here. Let me rescue her, I'll be gone, but waste no more of my precious time. Well... Um, what kind of <laughs> what kind of help are you talk about? Well, clearly we know what, what what's going on here. Um, well, we want to take him because we need a navigator. Maybe if we help him, he'll join us. What kind of help are you talking about? I would never ask you for such a favor under different circumstances, and yet, and yet, Lady Cassia's well-being is above all. I haven't got many people left, and my wound's too deep for me to act with precision and swiftness. But you, you might actually succeed. In order to ascend to the mistress's chambers. You will need to remake a holy relic sanctified in the blood of Lady Orcelia herself. This is the control rod of the elevator's machine spirit. 
I have one part and the other was lost during the mutiny. But even this relic will be of no use unless the elevator mechanism is powered. Um, how do I remake the rod? I have a phylactery containing the mistress's blood. It needs to be taken to the laboratory, which is located behind one of the reliquary doors. The most ancient and sacred mechanisms will help rebuild the rod. Temporary ceaselessly perform the rite of appeasement, so the machine spirit would serve the house in its time of need. The fateful hour is now upon us. How am I supposed to power the other elevator? Ooh. The station's main cogitator is found is situated, sorry, in the guard room. Just enter the correct command sequence and the sacred mechanism will do the rest. Um And why should I help you? Actually, no. I guess that makes sense. So what have you decided, descendant of the von Valakius line? Hmm. I think. Yeah, so, yeah, we, well, I will risk your mistress, but in return, I require that horse to sell you a sign of contract uh, with my protectorate. I would say so, because we need we need navigators, don't we? Yeah, I will rescue your mistress, but I want that. So be it. Hurry, the mistress' safety matters above all. But should you fail, our arrangement is finished. All right, then. We've got a flat to me. That's useful. So we need to find the... Right, that, I assume that this I'll is the elevator. To the stars. On... Yep, the elevator shut down. Right, that is definitely the elevator. So we need to find the place that we need to go to. Turn to the void ship. That's not where we want to be. So where's the blooming doors? White, white, bright colour, blah, 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 something else. Who are you? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Don't fear. Jump over. Unexpected result. Right, so we are in search of... Investment. While we paused... I'll oh, be ready. The conspirators are trying to break for the guard room doors. That's fine. None oh, there. stand in oh my there's way. traps. Right, so we've got to be careful. Traps! Traps up ahead. All your characters disable it. If your character enters the trapped area or fails to test the time, the trap will trigger dealing damage and inflicting injuries on the character in the area of effect. Okay. Demolition. Uh, whoop. Oh, actually, um, if, if I do that... Right, she does it because she's got the highest demolition. That is super useful. The Emperor favors me today. And also disable this as well. Right, you can go, thank you. Duty prevails. Duty does prevail. Victory away. Well done, team. Easy peasy. Just gonna go I assume we just go down and crump these people. We'll get them good and proper. Ooh, that's a lot. Stand firm, we must not let miscreants defile House Orcelia. You're defiling it. Look at all the defiling going on. A bit of defiling going on here? Bit of defiling going on here. Fire will for House Orcelio. Cowards, Fire vagabonds, and vagrants. Right, so we need to get everyone knocking around. So Argentina, you go here. Stannis Baratheon, or whatever you're called, you go there. Don't know why it's Arabold. Is someone gosh darn it? Uh, John Temple, you basically stand on the back lines. Your job is to tell people what to do. And you can stand here as well, because you're going to do some wicked witchcraft and misery. There we go. It's Argentina. She's going to fire. She's going to fire a whole bunch of people. Right, how many people can I get? Potentially these lot? Will... No, right, it's just these two. Well, right, we'll go for these guys. Fire, sister! Take them on. And that will... Do that. We'll do, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just start slow for now. We're in no rush. Oh, let's come forward. I'm a bold, tough guy, though. Good old Archibald. You're not hitting us though, anytime soon. Right, magic and mayhem. Lightning arc. Uh, do we... We just fire one person? I mean, one, one shot, one kill. That's how it seems. The Medicare, though, that's probably someone that we need to kill straight away. I will say this dude. Not this oh, we're too far. Job. Okay, right, well, well you then. Did not land us like shit. Chitting Nora. Right, you move forward then, Irida. What is this foreboding? Oh, actually, would it make sense to kill these guys first? He'll jump he'll kill you and then jump round these parts, I think. And if we get the guy in the middle, it'll he'll hit. Nah, we'll go for you instead. Be gone! Be gone. Vile warp spawn! Traitors, ne'er-do-wells, vagabonds. 
We're also going to analyse the enemy. But that will help us with the killing. Consider yourself analysed, you bastard. We've got a last Pain gun here. Duty go hand in hand. They do. Pain and duty. It's all the same. Oh, he's actually shot his own boy. Friendly fire in the guard. Standard as you can get. Alright, John Temple, you're going to tell people to do things on your behalf. So voice command. Tell Argentina to fire some more. Do things! Or oh, was that the right one? Um, did I get that wrong? I think I might have got that wrong, actually. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Well, you know what? Oh, right, it's, it's that button, okay. Nothing I can't do. Right, bring it down! Fire! Open the Please, gates of hell upon our enemies. Well. Glorious oh, bolt of fire. Yes, that's what we do. Glorious combat. And can we shoot anyone from this distance? No, we can't. But we don't need to. I just out the back. I'm going to get him to serve me as that's well. You problem. serve me, sir. Archibald. You do things. What does that actually do? Um, Noble's ability affects the servant. He gains five to all characteristics till the end of the next turn. Uh, Any time the servant attacks a target that the Noble dealt damage to last turn. Oh, well, to do much. Not doing much damage, are we? That is fine, though. Well, there's a dude over here, but we could shoot him. I reckon we we'll push on forward. He's mainly a melee guy, though. He's got no range attacks. I've Go seen worse battles than this in my time. And then can we charge? Charge forward in glorious combat. Or quite thin range. But we can, however, we can brace for impact for one round the Navy officer and all of ours within three squares. Get two deflection each archetype, I think. Oh, and dear. Ah, that one. That'll be a lot more useful. Reducing all incoming damage. We and dear. You can't kill us. We're immortal. Just try and take us on. Coward. Unquestionable order. No damage will come before us. Archibald is a tough boy. And actually shooting his own guys. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, more fire. Take them all. Yes. I'll do it. Open fire upon the heresies. Or the heretics, even. And reload as well. I have to move you a bit forward, actually. Can I move you forward? No, you've already done all your actions. Okay. Eritrea. We'll Kill do. the Medicaid. We don't want any healing going on. And we will do more analysis on you. On which I think, once I've done that, that then allows us to do damage. Is that what that does? Give it a go. You are being done in. Well, I get that wrong. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't know how this game works, really. If you've watched my Baldur's Gate playthrough, you'll realise I'm not a smart man. And I've got no idea what's going on half the time. Usually it's people in the comments telling me how to improve at the game. That's generally the way forward. Alright, uh, finest hour. An officer can grant an ally an extra turn with full AP and AM. Which essentially, John Temple's role is telling Argentina to, to fire more. That's essentially all we're going to do here. Well, I don't want to open a massive volley over on this way just because... It might kill people, but run and gun. We can run forward. Go there. And then open fire down this direction. Death to everyone. Oh, at least just one. It's only 55% there. Are these guys more likely to die? Nah, so just, just continue. There we go. Glory. Glory in combat. Alright, and if I move over here now, am I now in range of firing at you? Yes, I am. Take that, you rascal. <laughs> Mighty is the hammer. Mighty is the is the man. Alright, you come forward. 
Old Archibald. And you are going to charge forward. Into glorious combat. Right, can I just back? Go forward! Slice! Mighty chain sword. Going in there. Can I get you? It will be done. Get him! Yeah. <laughs> Cleave the, 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 the chair. Violence. Among all things. I'm enraged. Oh dear. That's a lot more damage than I originally anticipated. Guided by faith. Right, can we move you all the way into here? So you're nice and protected. And then one. Yeah, one bop. Doubt is for the weak. How? Eradicated. Eradicated. And another bop. Wham! Each strike is a prayer. Each strike is indeed a prayer. Everyone's dead. We I'm all survive. Idleness. Let's move. I like it. In between each combat, we, we regain back to our full health. So, I mean, if we get some, like, like, severe damage, then we, you know, got to heal it. But, like, generally we're okay. Right. Flak armor. Medium. Um, I don't want large armor, purely because, being an officer, I want all the maneuverability and stuff. I want to dodge and stuff. However, these guys... What's your armor like? Better. You won't want medium armor, will you? And you've probably got heavy armor, haven't you? Yes. So what we'll do is that we'll... Take all this to... Karga. Yes. Is what we shall do. I'm all right, John ready. Temple. Mass the troops. I was like, oh, I was just able to collect everything as well. That's quite useful. I uh, can't imagine there's much else useful on here. We'll, we'll just push on. Ah, we're not going to explore. It's quite exploring. Ooh. It's about time. Thank goodness it pauses. Can we all just gather around together? Do we'll I have to select everyone? I do. Right, okay. Oh, come on, Argentina. Get it all done. I know she's not called Argentina, but she's I called Argentina now. For the rest of this gameplay, service. that's what she's called. Hello, goods. You are... Navigator Flesh Sample. I'm going to collect you. You you seem like a useful thing. Yes. Damn warp, if we've been in real space, I'd have heard I'd have what? I won't. Spare me your wailing witch. Every voice that sounds in your mind is a whisper of the arch enemy. You tell her. We're not messing around. Oh, we've got we've got nice nice things to find. Yeah, we're just gonna rob this place blind. I feel none shall stand in my way. None shall stand in our way. Absolutely. Experience, nothing matters more. Yes, and we've we've, we've done things. We have found noble silk gloves. Ooh, silk gloves, you say? John Temple is a man known for his love of silk. Do we have any gloves on? We do. Tech, we don't need tech use. We want silky, silky gloves. Now, what are our... We need a person who's good with tech. Where's our tech ability? Tech use 30, 30, and 30. I was 35, so I was actually technically the best for it, but we shall give these to... Who doesn't have gloves at the moment? Argentina, you can have the gloves. So you're my favourite at the moment. You are the one that does the most damage. And tech use, demolitions. Let us see if we can I rise do this. To the occasion. Aha! Yes. Do you see that? Do I see what? The baddies. We can take them A on. New challenge for me. Oh, there's, there's traps down there. Take them on, gentlemen. Take them on. Do you hear the screams? Move. Sir, are you all right? We can't hear anything. Is it chaos? Is it Zinch? Oh. His mind's been lost. Now I see you are in league with them. Is this an insurrection? Yes, indeed. Death to the traitors. Oh, they're all going a bit doolally. Sir, what are you doing? Get a hold of yourself, sir. Oh, God. Oh, him's a bit naff, isn't it? Mr. Best on the right-hand side. I know you're all traitors. Traitors, all of you. They told me. They whispered. Hey, who are you? Definitely not traitors. We're friends. 
lovely, lovely friends. Oh, no, following us. But then dies. Did we kill them? Or did he just die just because he couldn't be bothered? Either way, we've got loads of stuff. Las guns. Uh, would I need a las gun? No, probably not. I've already got a pistol. That's fine. But yeah, I think my pistol is actually quite, say a little bit of humility, quite decent. I help others better themselves yeah. by well made stuff as well. humiliating them at every step. Right, cal calm down, John Temple. We don't need a monologue here. We don't need a monologue at all. We've got some books though. Steal some books. Anything that's got this like little red or oh, little thing around it seems important. I know we're trying to remake stuff. We'll keep on keeping on with it. Uh, right. Anything else? Some more goods. Good to have goods. Research notes on Nervous Laboratorium. Custodian Fortuna. Or silly part 13. Part 13. I'm not reading that much. Lord of mercy. Who do you think I am? Right, there's gas over there. They don't seem to be having a great time. What if we open this door with the power of tech use? Matters. More than John Temple. And just tons of shit that we can steal from. Yes. Give me all. Thank you very much. Got a carapace chest plate. But actually, that is much better for us. And also a long las. Hey, now actually, that might be beneficial for us. As if we're always on the back lines. Yeah, I'd say so. Let's give John Temple the long las. Let's also give him the... Although I hate that the armored body glove. It's not quite as sexy, is it? But hey-ho. Such is the price of combat efficiency. Done. And let's just take all of this stuff as we go. More goods as well. Welcome to the John time. Temple show where we basically steal all the good stuff. Now, I imagine there's probably something in here as well. Can we... Oh, no. <laughs> we'll open this door. And then, Argentina, if you... If you could... Delete this. There's not... Can we not... Ah, there we go. You've got to go over on that side. Never doubt me. Well done, lady. What's inside you? More... Gubbins. Right, for the fruit of the gas, I think. I won't tolerate weakness. No, we shan't tolerate weakness. That's not what we do. Oh, seven. Oh, where's the child? Is she safe? Uh, we're done for. They're killing us all, and I can't take any more. Okay. Uh, for some reason, the arch enemy's twisted influence can be found. I uh, found its way into the station. Is that a foul influence? I'll lay claim to the stars. Earth, what do you think? Come on, Ev. Talk to me. Ev has, Ev has had his tongue cut off. Just like the rest of the lesser servants of House Orcelia. Right, so... Is there anything else for us to do over here? Doesn't seem like it. There's a man on the floor. Well, this person still bring me as evidence only by barely audible groans. Right, fine. There's bugger all in there. Oh, there's a door over here, though. Leave the people to be gassed in their own spare time. Awake of the cogitate spirit. As the cogitator's vid screen is covered in cracks and stain of dried blood, the body, the body, the, the buttons, switches, and levers were ripped out of the control panel. Exceptional cruelty and scattered around the sacred mechanisms that now spark and hisses in agony, still refusing to perish. Awaken the cogitator. You turn a few of the remaining dials and pull the activation lever. The cracked vid screen of the sacred engine flickers. The cogitator inside emits creaks and groans, and the lumens oscillate at random. It takes a while, but eventually the machine spirit do grant you access to the cogitator system. All right, okay, sir. Uh, what were we doing? Uh, oh, we could request data on the station's navigators. It's got a fair few. Most of them are alive. In fact, only two of them are alive. Bilek, the one that we're working with, and Fearball, the bad one, I think. Yes. Cool, nice one. Uh, let's call... Main elevator controls. A few manipulations and switches make you realize the elevator is up. Both chambers are blocked. Activate the elevator. 
Processing query confirmed. And that is that. So, switch the main chamber controls. Open doors on the levels. Thank you. Warning, data corrupted. Ah, shit. Oh. I don't speak machine. Push a few buttons on the control panel, but the system rebels. Keeps resetting to your commands. According to the data, the compartment you're trying to open is depressurized. All right, okay. Uh, it's already been opened. Already been opened. We're oh, just going to press all the buttons. Protocol has been executed. The passage has been opened. Well done, team. All been opened. Yeah, just some random buttons. What could possibly go wrong? Ooh. Don't explode things, please. You see, pressing random buttons is always the best thing to do. And one more random pressing of the buttons. Well done. Call the Riker Minoris for help. Some cannot carry out our command despite the eager compliance of the machine spirits. One thing is certain the problem does not lie from the, the cogitator's mechanisms. All right, cheers, cogitator. Thank you for your assistance. Anything else still in here? No. All right, big door opening over Follow there. Follow my lead. Follow my lead, yes. Onwards, upwards. John Temple, gentleman rogue. Oh, have a seat. As far as we're into the walls of this deceived house, it's a black day for nervous noblelites. What does the heresy mean? Victory awaits. Well, let's all gather around together. Collect all. So, was that just temporary heresy? Ah, oh, only temporary heresy. That's fine. And Goes away in the end. Me? All right. So, what are you? Examine Medicare. Eighty percent. This cannot be. Someone disrupted the, this experiment in the most brutal fashion. It's impossible to determine what is inside. What about you over there? Uh, the coarse extent of the region sears your nostrils and broken glass crunches underfoot. Someone wanted to blah, blah, blah. What was the rest of it? Someone wanted to destroy the laboratory or find something. But we found more shite. Excellent stuff. Good. So over here. Let's collect all the stuff. Leave no stone unturned. And what are you? <laughs> Biogel. Black water, unidentified acid. That's the best kind of acid, some would say. Right, so we need to remake the phylactery or something, don't we? Something about tech priests and, and blood. Time. Lady Cassia's Medicare. Hello. What are you doing? They all just lost their minds. Please don't kill me. Well, I won't kill you, but could you please help us? That'd be great. Uh, right, remake the control rod. Yes, we've done it. Wilderness. What's the rest of you doing there? Ooh, if I pop you in there. And close. Oh, Does that do stuff? Something. Yes, I've succeeded. And now I've got crystal dust. Amazing. We can snort that later. Right. Tissue fissure. And what do you have? Flesh sample. More flesh samples. Oh, I see. I've got to put all this stuff... Right, okay. It was useful, stuff that I was finding. Good. Uh, let's find... I assume biogel. Should I know what I'm doing at the moment? Probably. Probably. Activate the device. Makers... Oh. <laughs> did I succeed? Did I do good? I don't think I did good, did I? More things to read, which I am absolutely not going to do. There's too much reading in this game anyway. But to be fair, that's one reason why I really prefer... To, oh, I really enjoyed playing Baldur's Gate, because not very good at reading, you see. And so... Having all this... Having to read it, it's just not my kind of vibe. We've got more Adamite dust. Maybe that's what we got wrong. Oh, we can't fix it anymore. It's all dead. But we've got the rod. That's the None main thing. Shall stand in my way. So we're going to go back and save the world. He says, no degree of confidence. A jump over athletics 100%. Service, that Aha. was barely a challenge. That was barely a challenge, yes. I won't tolerate weakness. All right, on with you. Control rod is required. What do you mean? Do I not have it? Is that not what? Yeah, control rod. Have I got to equip it? 
I don't have time for this. Silence. I'll pass. All right then. Well, in that case, I could put a sword there. That. I'll just give you a last pistol as well. Oh no, not one. We don't want the last pistol. We want the other one. Oh, never mind. Fine. Well, I, I don't know what you want from me, game. I don't know what you want from me at all. Unless I'm going to talk to you. I don't have the threat. I'm part of the elevator. Well done. I trust you brought the activation rod as well. Remember, every second of hesitation may cost my mistress her life. Uh, the crossroads. There are two paths. Both stained of blood. Both leading to your cursed eye. They all wear masks. So poor and flimsy. They fall at the slightest touch. One hide a blind man. Another a traitor. What are you on about, Idria? Thank you. I did not understand a single word. <laughs> I like that. Idria nods tiredly. Glanced at Felic in the corner of her eye. The station is, has got enough problems about your sorcery, Psyker. Um, hand over the key. Thank you, Rogue Trader. I do not even know what to say. Statues and honour prevent me from admitting it before you now. But you've really woken hope in me. Hope that I might actually leave the station together with my mistress. Which is why I'm about to ask you one last favour for, for me. The lily insurgents got their hands on a weapon that suppresses my navigator's powers. Their absence makes me a living target. But their weapon is useless against you as is a bunch of lunatics wielding it. I humbly ask you to deal with the scumbag hold, huddled, huddling upstairs and hurry to adore my mistress with the relic of our house, a sacred amulet against all evil. Are you a traitor? Are we actually doing the bad things? Recent events have badly disturbed Lady Cassia's psyche and warp entities always lust for weaker souls, especially when the veil grows thin. You too will be safe next to this charm. Uh, all right. Um, yes, very well, I will do it. Uh, you are going to need this charm, and may the God Emperor light your way. All right, then, boys and girls. Let's go save a lady. Victory awaits! Victory does indeed await John Temple. Oh, no, they're definitely evil. Fair play. <laughs> they're just not having a good time, are they? All right, the pale figure with a naturally long limb stands uh, with her arms raised. Her hands deformed like, with talon-like nails. Her deadly pale face is coated with blood that continuously streams from her scarlet, misted eyes. Her spiny gills, slightly hidden from under her disheveled hair, twitching nervously as you approach. Only now do you realize a third eye on the woman's forehead, hidden by a jeweled ornament. When your eyes meet, your senses overwhelmed, soul-smothering power. As the otherworldly creature gaze slides over you, you your entire core shudders in terror. Flash of the past, war, nightmares re-emerge from the shadow of your memory and paralyze your will. You gasp for air in terror, drowning under a crashing wave of pain. You cannot catch your breath. Hot tears burned on your cheeks. Why is this happening? Why is it happening to you? Why do you feel so lonely and in so much pain? These feelings even belong to you. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> as, uh, as if... My own little pals weren't bad enough. Now this one's barging into my soul. Somebody stop her. Heresy. Absolutely. Well, let's see if I can calm her down. Lady Cassia, I'm here to help. Please calm yourself. That's the best way to get people to calm down is by telling them to calm down. What's happening? Why is someone calling my name? All are the betrayers dead already. And you, who are you? John Temple Von Varkus. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. None of my manners, John Temple. I did not expect make such great acquaintance in such a time of great sorrow for our house. What is this? I feel faint. My goodness. The child, Lady Cassia. Where are you? Sacred child, from preserve. You! The old man shifts, revealing his face to you. It is threaded in jet black veins. Its bulging, milky eyes bear a striking resemblance to those of a dead fish. A sickly, sweet scent salts your nostrils as if the old man's flesh is rotting inside his decaying husk. Fear bold. My eyes fail me. They are unable to make you out as either enemy or ally. I'm warning you, one wrong move will bring the house of house will, will bring the wrath of House Orcilia down upon your head. Watch out, Lord Captain. This one's so deranged it makes the whispering shriek like crazy. He might just open the eye of his Threatening the head of a dynasty is a grave offence esteemed wh whoever you are. Oblad, place a weapon, a hand on his weapon. Um, well. 
I am present. Uh, so at present, I'm trying to determine what, ha what is happening on Iraq 5. I'll grant that you do not look like a pirate who have come here, coveting the riches of a wreck station, the scoundrels in Felix service. So who are you? I'm John. <laughs> We're just introducing ourselves over and over again. John Tibble von Valakenus, rogue trader. Right, another rogue trader in the corner of our galaxy. How interesting. Your kind always make appearances in such desperate times. Ready to cut a deal that benefits you one side alone. Given that you have not so far drawn your weapons, your intentions are probably peaceful. And so House Orcelia now asks a service of you. Save the life of a child in exchange for the future cooperation. Do not hurry to answer. Think on it. You can make yourself an ally or an enemy of the house today. You decide. Well, what does all this mean then? Because, like, I thought you were the baddies. I want to know what happened between you and Felic. Felic is a wayward student. He came to Eric V as a cowl youth. I personally mentored him and entrusted him with the care of the child. He was like a son to me. We provided to he proved to be just another trader. I told you. Told you. He sought to steal our most precious treasure. The heir of the house, our sacred child, to revel in power with others like him, casting our house into the abyss, prevent the centuries-long traditions of our family. You can see the fruits of his villainy yourself. He decided not. He decided he was not bound by his duties to the legacy of the greatest of our nervators, Tissy Fern Orcelia, who led our house to prosperity for countless years. Foolish boy, the renegades clouded his mind. They sought to seize control of the dynasty before their sacred child had come of age and taken up the navigator's throne. To choose whose side you're on, a male traitor or a lawful sign of House Noble. Um... Well, well, to be fair, I mean... Were you not gassing people downstairs? Was that... That didn't look like a pleasant situation. Um... Felic accused you of treachery, Fearbald. Who? Why should I trust your words? Defending myself before strangers, I never thought I would fall so low. If the, child of, if the child's life were not at stake, very well I have no choice or proof of my innocence. I can give you my word as a member of the Navis Noblite if the honest word of an honourable man counts for anything to you. I guard the station against calamity and occasions from without to the best of my ability. I force the wardens to strive or to strictly observe security protocols I personally selected the servants and, faithful, and faithfully protected the child during the coup. I mean, the child is safe. But what is the curse that's taken hold of everyone in this room? Curse, you do not understand the sacred gift given to our child. When the child is sad, we all weep. When the child smiles, we all laugh giddily. When the child wants blood, the world turns crimson. The child's will is the will of the great Tissifern, for she is the heir of House Orcelia. And they call me dangerous with my witchcraft. Right, so uh, it's not anyone traitoring anyone. It's essentially the child being weird. Okay, all right. In that case, they are the goodies. Or at least no one's the goodies in this situation. But whatever. All right, Felix is a true monster. Let's do away with him together. Why not? Allies are always welcome, even temporary ones. I will revive the child. Do not be alarmed. House of Orcelia's heir will help us destroy our enemies and shield us from Felix Navigator's forces. But you, rest for a time before the battle. Okay, we'll chill. As they recover Cassia. And are you going to be my navigator? I hope you will. That would be very useful. So we're resting. What have we got? Discoloured visions. World feels less vivid. Perception, willpower, and dodge are reduced by 10. Okay, fair enough. Did Cassia's defender? What have you got to say for yourself? Servant opens his mouth in prayer, and you can see a stub of his mutilated tongue. I don't think we made the good choice here. But you know what? I'm not here to negotiate and figure out who's right or wrong in this wicked, foul universe. I'm just here to survive. And what is my mission? To be a rogue trader. A dashing gentleman. All right, Fearbald. We'll be, uh, while this may be an alliance of convenience, we shall follow you. Do we just go? Do we just leave? Servant? Ah! <laughs> Fair enough. I, you see, I thought he stars. was a child. He's like about, looks like a child, but clearly not. Alright, so I think we just leave. We just leave and they follow? Is that the plan? 
Oh, I'm activating the elevator. Come forth. Let us end them with righteous indignation and fury. What time we repay those who betrayed our house? Come. Well, John Temple's not a man who normally comes on command, but for the sake of getting a navigator, we shall do so. Rogue traitor, you treacherous worm. I knew I should have killed you. Well, all's got to bear in mind that he's got a bigger hat, therefore he's probably correct. This is enough, boy. You betrayed the child, our house, and Tissaphone herself. Surrender. I am the saviour of our house, and I'm prepared to pay the ultimate price. Kill them! Well. Can't have this. Oh! Dear, oh dear. <laughs> I quite like that. That was good. How? Right in the kisser. Right, okay, so... Archibald, you're going. Can you just spawn next to him? No, we can't. And spawn him there. Uh, Sister Argentina, you can be over here. John Temple, you need to be out of danger. You could be there. And Crazy Witch Lady, you could be on the side of these guys here. So I don't want the witch standing too close to me in case she explodes. Start the battle. Good old silly. Have visions of triumph. Show them the way. And look into his soul. Oh, look, Ocelia, you're going to get boofed in the face by Archibald when he gets to you. That's you. Ooh. It's quite strong, isn't it? I right, go on the new fire away. That is not the Emperor's will. Right, okay. It's not the Emperor's will. Fine. Can you not move? I don't thing. Are you just stuck? Right, okay, fair enough. I guess you're stuck. I can't open fire because I will get... Well, I can't, like, do a massive open fire. So I'll do a regular one. How? This, this is why I was chosen. And then... Do we do a fierce recital? Nah. We're fine. Fine for now. You're just firing at people. John Temple, tell... I had to fire again, will you? Do my battles for me. Can you now move? No, you're still stuck there. Okay, Safe well, how for you? Is worth eradicated. eradicated indeed. And then John Temple, a dead eye shot. Can you snipe him? Nothing I can't do. Ow! And you serve me, Arabold. Because now, if you do damage to him, because we've done damage to him, that will benefit us greatly. Lightning, very, very frightening. Get him good. Get him proper. How's the warp? Uh, Definitely not heresy. Definitely not heresy. Oh, you get to fire through the wall. Why, why can't Argentina do that? Oh, well, never mind. Medicate. What are you going to do? Yeah, don't bother healing anyone. That's not the role. Right, oh, now you can move. Maybe you were just too tightly compacted between those guys. Uh, Cassie is in the way of that. But I'll tell you what, you can come forward. Rejoice in battle. Rejoice in battle, yes. As the Emperor open fire. Commands, I am. Pow, 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 pow. Arabold, finally it's your turn. Are you all going to stand on the, the side of him? Like a madman, just claw into him. Yes. That's what we do. Slice and dice. Curse you, miscreant. <laughs> Curse you, you miscreant. Yes. Beat him with a stick. Oh, don't kill Cassie yet. We need her. For reasons. So what well, these guys aren't exactly doing a incredible amount of stuff, are they? Uh, gaze into assault. Driving away, we'll cut you down, yes! Well done, Archibald. Yes, okay. Come on, lady, fight for me some more. One single shot will do. 
Actually, no, if we move over... No, we can't move over. Oh. Nice. And then you can then shoot him Ready, with your long lads. Nearly. Almost shot him. It was a good try. Right, there were no baddies over here left, so we'll just go over here. And more... Can we do Psychic Shriek? Will that... Oh, we'll we'll just do something different. Shout him down. We are angry. We will get you. Last dude over there. Bring him down! Bring him down! To the heretics. Yep, they're all heretics. Well done, team. Good job. Now, this is your burden, child. Survive. Return to the fold of your house as your destiny demands. Oh. So that shot killed him. That was unfortunate. No. Don't leave me alone in this violet brown haze. Wake up. Your mistress is giving you an order. Do you hear me? Cassia looks to navigate his body in bewilderment, and you are overwhelmed by an inexplicable sense of loneliness and grief. He was oh. a fine seer of the war. He fought for his mistress until the end. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Enough's enough. I've had my fill of waterworks, thank you. I regret that we had to meet under such circumstances. What need have I for your regrets? I... I just want things to go back to the way they were before. Aww. Well, sorry. What? Um, what are you going to do to me? Oh, I'm going to do nothing to you. Um... I would like it if you would just work with me... consensually. Uh, Lady Cassia, let us aid one another. Become my navigator and I shall restore you to House Orcelia at the earliest opportunity. <laughs> Beg your pardon, but what about my servants? Your Act 5 is still full of people loyal to House Orcelio. Well, then naturally, um, uh, all those, all who can be saved will be given succor aboard my ship. Hmm. Yeah, we can save people. Accompanying a rogue trader on their travels is an honor for any navigator. Let us go. I can no longer bear the sight of the deathly pale shadows that drape the bodies of the fallen. Hooray, we have accomplished our mission. Everyone survived, apart from the ones that didn't. And now we get all these stuff. Shotguns? Would a shotgun be useful? Would Archibald benefit from a shotgun? That is my question. Can he dual wield a shotgun? That's the question. That? No. Right. But well, he can have one spare. Yes. Just look at that handsome fella. I quite like him. Also, you are... Able to get upgrades, so that's cool. Character characteristics. What do you do? Right. What's your main things? I suppose willpower for warp stuff. So a navigator, so warp will be quite useful for you. And then for you. I don't even know what your abilities do. Hold on. Let me. Oh, you're also a commander. But also a warpy person as well. A lidless stare. Okay, alright, well. In that case, we'd probably benefit from... Um... Alright, okay, so the Eye of Oblivion. Every enemy in the navigator... Every enemy that the navigator has line of sight has its dodge and hit chance reduced by two minus... Or times two of the perception burner, sir. Perception's quite high, so I'm going to go for that, because that seems useful. Can I, can I choose that? Is that, a, is that a thing that I'm allowed to? I have Oblivion. Let me choose that. Oh, I've got to choose this one. Right, hold on. Right, let me choose that one first. And then... Okay, alright. I know how this game works. Where were you? I have Oblivion. Do the summary. Yes. Apply. I assume there's probably better ways to build characters, but you'll, you'll quickly find that I'm, again, not all that wise in the ways of RPGs and stuff. But look at that, we found loads of stuff. 
I want body gloves. Prisoners. Braces. I like braces. A tactical goggles. And navigator staffs. In fact, crazy warp lady, do you have staffs? You've got staffs, yes. I'll tell you what, we shall collect you. You can go in here. You can go in there. But the rest of you, collect all. You're in the cargo. Let us end the void ship. We've succeeded in granting ourselves a navigator. Propels of the warp will be able to be sailed through, I think. And unless there's a cutscene, that might potentially be all that we need to do today. He says, loading screen. Love a good loading screen. Oh, yeah, that's a cutscene. Hello, cutscene. <laughs> I love that chair that just spins around. Lord Captain Lady Navigator, welcome aboard. The Sanctum Navis has been prepared for the communal ritual. Uh, a, a communion ritual. The Lady Navigator wishes to rest in her quarters first. Your heart starts beating furiously, your breaths come short and choppy, and your fingertips tingle unpleasantly. You notice that Vigdis is shivering slightly, and the crew are glancing around in puzzlement, searching for the source of the sudden wave of unease. Or even looking at the Voxmaster, Cassia waves her hand. First, I wish to speak to the road trader. Leave us. Of course. When you are ready for the ritual, please let me know. You're about casting magic on my people. That's not fair. No, man. Cassia swoops her pensive gaze over Vidya. Vigdis. And lowers her lashes slightly. Turning you... Uh, ter turns... <laughs> Well, I said lowering her lashes slightly. I thought this just turns you on, but no, it turns to you. Um, what do you wish to speak about? After a few seconds hesitation, Castiel lets out a small exhale and raises a pointed chin. I've not yet thanked you for saving me on the station. My thoughts were clouded with so much mournful ash when Fearbald's heart stopped. But you acted honourably and did not exploit me in my wretched position. And for that, I'm immensely grateful. I'm also deeply grateful that you saved my servants, especially my valet. Irv, who served on my station for more than five years, much longer than anyone who preceded him. He knows how to properly attend to me during journeys through the Immaterium and what to serve me for breakfast. His presence envelops me in a cloak of amber. But now, I am ready to go to the Sanctum Navis to perform the sacred rite. I require brushes, canvas, and the best paints you have aboard, but no red. That's interesting. And why are you asking me for these items? Now is not time to indulge in painting. Oh, actually, don't want to be in I don't want to be rude to her. Uh, why do you throw his red paint? Irv will give his... Will give of his blood before the ritual always. Actually, yeah, why are you asking for these items? You're asking questions once which you cannot comprehend. I was to make explain to you all in time. But now our time is too precious to waste. As navigator of House Orcelia, I give him aware that without canvas and paint, little hope of a smooth journey for the warp, I have no reason to lie. All right, then. Uh, in that case... I shall ensure that you have all the necessary supplies delivered to the Sanctum Navis. I shall take my leave of you for the duration of the rite. I ask that you do not follow me. You can survive the gaze of the warp when it is opened. All right. Painting lady. Draw me a pretty picture. Pretty please. With more people coming to see us. Lord Captain, I will oversee the open channel between the Lady Nav Navigator on the bridge. May the Emperor's light help us all. Bring us the warp. Bring us forward into the Sea of Souls. All right, vo the Vox Cutter of the Navigator of the Sanctum Navis picks up the su su bloody hell, the susurration of cloves, pious chanting, and the metallic clicking of the implants. Then the serene voice of Lady Navigator breaks the silence. Initiating communion, a communion ritual. Come here, Irv. The excellent ring, the exalted ring of metal freed from the scabbard, the low sob of the servant, the rhythmic drip of liquid on canvas, bent whisper of a brush. Go. Footsteps hurrying away. I see violet vortexes lashing, uh, lashes, uh, lashing an ocean with a million flails, and umber shadows spinning over the surface in a fiery dance. 
A storm up rising above forming waters. Armored deaths. Drowning in fog. The path from one end to another cannot be seen. And here, beyond the wall of glass, a daughter forsaken by her father yearns for her brother. And the sun's pale disc goes in tireless pursuit of her? No, of me. Its frozen rays lie in the spring in here. Uh, the light is deadened. The great ruler is gone. And the voxcaster recalls at uh, Cassia's word and accidentally snaps one of the cogitator levers. The panel beneath her fingers sparks. Uh, emits sparks. The voxcaster falls silent. She quickly flips the series switches over and bows guiltily. My abject apologies for cutting off the broadcast, Lord Captain. I've never heard the warp speaking through the navigator before. The connection is restored now. It will not happen again. <laughs> oh, so see, don't you see five lashings for sure clumsiness? No, we won't do that. Uh, Cassia, are you alright in there? Uh, soul shredding screams drown out the Vox transmission. The servants of the Sanctum, Navis, are howling and shrieking like wild beasts, moaning in pain. Their throats roar with the strain, and then, sudden silence, the dull thud of dropping bodies proclaims their fate. It appears that servant were, the servants were part of Lady Navigator's right, as it was for her predecessor. I'll arrange the bodies to be removed from the Sanctum Navis after the ritual, or what's left of them. Rogue Trader, I feel I have unfortunate news. Endless blackness has spread across the canvas, dividing what should be a hole in two. My sight cannot glimpse the light of the Emperor as clearly as before. I cannot turn around my brush. It only draws me onwards. The way is blocked. Uh, by the Emperor's grace, the ritual was successful. Your vessel's temper te temperament pres present, uh, the presented a challenge. Good lord. Uh, its cold steel grip did not allow me to breathe freely for even a second. It was as if the depths of the ship housed not only machine spirits, but something other. Now I will retreat to my chambers to recover my strength. Send for me when you have need of me. <sighs> lord Captain, congratulations on acquiring a navigator. Spare me a few moments of your time, please. There are several matters that require your attention. First of all, I want to report our condition on the station Erak 5. Uh, he had you opted to begin your visit to the record system with a different destination. The station would have been co uh, become critically unstable. Fortunately, the decision to immediately visit the representatives of Nervas, a Navas Nerblite, brought us precious time. We can either send our forces to assemble a station and procure technological components for our own vessel, or attempt to save as many valuables as we can. Um, I will say that we've already got lots of looted stuff, so let's gather any components that might be of use to our ship. As a command, Lord Captain. With your permission, I would like to also remind you that we are still looking for the Engine Seer Prime. Both the vessel and the machine spirits are in desperate need of oversight. Experienced tech priest. We are also missing some crew, and much more importantly, we have not yet located Heinrichs von Kallox, the right-hand man of the Lord Inquisitor. Now we know for sure he, he is not on Erak 5, so keep this in mind when making any future plans. Uh, okay, thank you, Vigdis. Goodbye, good night, God bless. Right. Good lord, that was a lot of reading. And with that, can I can I leave this? Am I allowed to... Back to the bridge, thank you. My other stuff. But yeah, I think I'm going to end that there. Um, I don't think I can play this for nearly as long as I can say games like Baldur's Gate 3, because the sheer amount of reading is absolutely exhausting. And as you can probably tell, reading is not my forte. Am I an English teacher? Oh, I also teach math as well, but I, I, well, it's one of my subjects. And exhausting. Exhausting. Can't do it. Can't do it for too long. But hey oh, we have succeeded in our journey. We'll level up uh, at the beginning of next session. And yeah, cool. So we'll, we'll, we'll do this occasionally. Like a once a week thing, maybe once every week and a half, kind of like what I do for Baldur's Gate. And yeah, cool. I will see you in a bit. Peace.